Okay, this is my latest purchase. It's a 100 watt solar panel. Um, I've got a charge controller for it as well. Now I've put it on the roof here, but it isn't actually fixed down. The idea is that I'm going to travel with the panel inside the camper and then when I get on site it will just lay on here. I can't see it being blown off, it's quite heavy and it's supported by both the central ridge and a skylight. Um, I've cut a little notch there so that the cables can come out and allowing it to be flush. The um, connectors are here which run down. Now the way I've wired this, if I just come down these steps, now they go into the gas bottle container so when I disconnect the cable in I can coil it all up and put it safely inside the box and then it runs underneath the van and then ooh, I don't know if you can see but under there they disappear inside the camper. Um, underneath the in the battery box I've got everything running through a waterproof fuse, a uh, 5 amp fuse so that uh, we've just got it protected 12 volt scares me because it could easily catch fire if you do your wiring badly. Now in here I've taken over this cabinet oh there's Holly doing a little bit of a dance um, so this is going to be the where the controller is um, let me just get it lit up so let me just it's all uh, backlit which I didn't realise um, it's all quite good anyway that's telling me how much is being generated by the um, panel at the minute, not a lot because it's quite overcast. Um, tells you the condition of the battery, which is good, and then other little bits of information as well the current temperature um, and the load that's on it, and the current state of charge and the time. Um, so, this is going to be where all the wiring comes through. I've added, as you know from the last video a little 12 volt plug here because my compressor fridge freezer is going to be on here um, so that's just been added and in addition I've got new cushion covers for the sofas they were this old tartan if you remember I don't know um, so we had them covered by the mother-in-law and I've added these curtains I know they look a bit creased but that's because the camper has been put down for some time over the winter and they just need to be draped a little bit more. Um, also I've added just a little bit of packing underneath here because this all lifts out. There's a, um, I tend to get a little bit of water from the drainage coming out here so I've just added a piece of bicycle inner tube taped up to make the seal a bit tighter um, and that seems to work quite well. So that's the latest thing, we'll be going away in this in the next couple of weeks um, and trying it out, hopefully it won't be too cold. Um, but I'm really looking forward to trying out the uh, the solar panel and the new fridge freezer.